Hey there, guys. Combatants, I present this latest creation of Shao Kahn. He is many warriors, their souls fused into one being. Behold, Ermac! Be wary, Liu Kang. He is unlike anything you have fought before. Liu Kang, you are the sole Earthrealm warrior to progress to this final stage of the tournament. I am ready. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. And welcome back to Mortal Kombat. Time for Chapter 5, Liu Kang. And our first opponent is Ermac. Some guy who can do all kinds of green glowing stuff and he talks like the frickin' Borg. And yeah, Liu Kang has to be my least favorite character so far. He has no good moves. I mean, I'm just like trying out all of his standard punches and kicks and stuff and none of them are any good whatsoever. He's just like, yeah, you can throw like some weak punches and kicks. Ooh, that was a nice dodge there. But, yeah, nothing really comboable. Like, you remember Johnny Cage when he did, like, that flip kick that bounced the opponent off the ground ready for an uppercut right after? Yeah, Liu Kang doesn't have any of those moves. Crap, I'm gonna freaking lose to this Ermac. Okay, let's just... Oh! Ah, oh, twice in the same spot. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, pretty much just broke his lower jaw and yet he's still standing. And I won the first round only because I used my x-ray move. Although he still has hit... Oh great, he just goes for it. Oh, there goes my neck. Okay, so this guy has like telekinetic... Oh, my ribs. Ermac has telekinetic powers. He's 35% of my damage with one freaking x-ray move. Damn. Can I get a hit in, please? Man, I have to freaking learn Liu Kang's moves. If he even has any. Jeez. I know if, if you're a Liu Kang fan in this game, how the hell does he work? Because I don't know how the hell to use him at all. Come on. Can I just... Yeah, if I just keep spamming the throw, then maybe he'll get somewhere. Because that does some decent damage. Well, I won. I don't know how I... Pull it off, though. Earth Realm will not fall into your master's hands. He is a greater threat than anticipated. I will ensure he does not reach the final challenge. Remember Bo Raicho's teachings. For my vision to be realized, you must not let emotion overpower you. Your visions? What causes them? My future self sent them to me, perhaps to ensure some outcome. Or to prevent one. <gasps> he must win. He must win. Those are my last words before I die. I believe it is you who must win. This amulet was forged by the Elder Gods. It cracked here in the present after my first vision. If we choose wisely, the future will be secured and the cracks healed. I trust you will make the right decisions. We must trust in the Elder Gods, Liu Kang. Ha! 
You're good. Show me more. Do not underestimate me, Shaolin. Yay, more eye candy. At least this makes up for having to play as freaking Liu Kang. Okay. How dare he punch a girl. Although it is a girl that can probably hold her own pretty well. Hmm, okay, he can pull off some fast punches in a row, but that's not really any good. Well, at least he still has that uppercut everyone has. So that's not even one of his special moves. I need to figure out some of his special moves, like... Stat. Does he have any projectiles I can spam? And that would probably step up my game a lot. Because in this game, when in doubt, projectile spam. Be a freaking chip damage whore, that always works. At least that's how I beat the bosses in arcade most of the time. Come on, I can do this. Let's finish it off with the X-Ray. Yeah, let's mortally injure her, break her freaking skull into millions and millions of little tiny pieces. I am impressed. Do it. Do what? Kill me. Why would I do that? I came to kill you. I have failed my father, my emperor. Shao Kahn is your father? I have disgraced him. You must kill me. I will not. This encounter never took place. You have disgraced no one. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. Only one Earthrealm warrior remains. The Shaolin, Liu Kang. Is he ready to bear such a heavy burden? Earthrealm's fate is in his hands. Your opponent will be... Scorpion! I do not fear you, demon. Fighting with Scorpion, the sorcerer Quan Chi! <laughs> you have already lost. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Two against one fight with a character I have no freaking clue how the hell to control. And Scorpion and Quan Chi are both pretty difficult opponents. I don't think we fought Quan Chi before, so this is a fur. Wait, how did I do that move? The freaking flying kick thing. But, yeah. Oh, sweet, I finally got some bloody damage in. Okay, Quan Chi. He kinda looks like Kratos. Pale skin, tattoos. Yeah. Even though this guy was probably around like 10 years before Kratos. I don't know, Quan Chi wasn't... Oh, this is his x-ray? What's he do? Uh, okay. And he makes you snap your own freaking neck. What the hell, seriously? And yeah. By now you can barely see there's no way in hell I'm gonna win this one. I mean, maybe I'll be able to beat... Crap, he switches out. Why don't I get a freaking tag partner? That's so unfair. I mean, this tournament has some of the worst rules ever. Two-on-one fights. Pretty much do whatever the hell you feel like. Great. I didn't even knock out one of them. God, Liu Kang is awful. Oh, nice. Little wussy kick there. Jet's just freaking perfect. Pretty much just requiring on chip damage and getting cheap hits in. And of course, throws. Oh, crap. This is Quan Chi's trance move. He, like, puts a spell on you and it makes you walk forward like an idiot. Now, this not only prevents you from doing anything, but it also allows him to, like, set up a combo on you. So, yeah. Quan Chi is cheap. Or at least that's a pretty cheap move he has. I don't know if it's unblockable or not. Because I haven't played as Quan Chi as of yet. He's also one of the two unlockable characters in this game. You get Quan Chi if you beat story mode, so... 
I'm guessing he might be worth it. Like, usually unlockable characters tend to be worth it. And what the hell was that? Did he put a glowing green skull on my face that went om nom nom nom? Okay, come on. If I can just take him out, then I might still be able to beat freaking Scorpion. Stop switching out. It's not making me it any easier for me. Come on, you. Okay, I beat Quan Chi. And now Scorpion is so gonna kick my ass. Great, I lost. Continue, of course we're gonna continue. Although there's no timer. You know what I'm gonna do? Just get a few punches in and move list. It's about freaking time. Let's see. Uh -huh, dragon stance. That all sounds really difficult and... Stuff I don't understand. Eh... Uh, Check out the super moves list. High fireball, low fireball, flying dragon kick. Okay, this is the stuff I'm looking for. Projectiles to abuse. Yeah, now we're talking. Screw you, scorpion. I've got fireballs now. And that's the flying kick thing. Fireball. Flying kick. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need. And a successful x-ray once in a while. Hit Scorpion in his freaking flaming skull face. Yeah, he just wears a mask and stuff to look like a human. I'm guessing he's just a burning skeleton underneath all that stuff. But then again, everyone's a skeleton underneath that stuff, except they're not usually burning. Only once you're dead and you're being cremated. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's not completely impossible. You can also shoot low fireballs, just in case like they're blocking high, you just shoot a low fireball. And that way they won't block it and you'll get more damage in. Come on, cheap hits. Just throw them. Nice fire punch. Yeah, I love the fireball spamming. Crap. Why does everyone have a bloody teleport? Oh, that was a nice... Why the hell did I not figure that out sooner? I've no clue how I pulled it off. But I'm sure I'll be able to replicate it. See, that's a pretty good move. Get some nice hits in. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't know what he's gonna do. Okay, got my x-ray again. That's nice to know. They still have theirs. And in a tag match, that bar is shared between characters. Like, just because his bar is full doesn't mean he can pull off an x-ray with both Scorpion and Quan Chi. He can only use it for one of them. So at least that's nice. Otherwise, that would be way too broken. That way you'd never win a 2-on-1 fight. Unless you're like real freaking good with said character you're playing as. And I highly doubt anyone is that good with freaking Liu Kang. I mean, sure, he's supposed to be the hero of the franchise and stuff, but I think he just sucks. Just a generic Asian guy who can shoot dragon-shaped fireballs from his hands. But yeah, at least we won, so that means we're gonna go on to the next fight. Thank goodness. As I said, I do not fear you. I pity you. You have done well, but the tournament is not yet over. Goro. What's a Goro? Liu Kang, it has been years since an Earthrealm warrior has progressed this far. But the reigning champion is far beyond your ability. <sighs> to the lair with you! I did not expect to fight in this tournament, but eventually, even the Shaolin produce a warrior worthy of the Shokan. I know who you are. I am ready for you. I will give you a warrior's death. Oh crap, now we're gonna get it. 
Remember before when I mentioned there were cheap bosses in like arcade mode? Well, this is one of them. One of the three. Goro, he was like the final boss in the first Mortal Kombat game, I think. And just look at that, he has a three-hit combo that takes away nearly a quarter of my health. Not to mention, he has even more health than a regular character does. So, pretty much, he hits you incredibly hard and you hit him even less hard than you do with the other characters. Also, he has, like, these invincibility frames on some of his moves. Which means he does take damage, but oh, he crushes your bloody skull. Look at all the teeth, yay! Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. <sighs> Why are all these characters so cheap? Of course, you're playing as the one scrub who can't do a damn thing. Oh, at least the flying kick works kind of nice before he pummels me into the frickin' ground again. I mean, luckily they try to balance these bosses out a bit by making them taunt a lot. Which pretty much allows you to get free hits in. And you'll really... Damn. Okay, Goro is freaking impossible. I mean... This guy keeps beating my ass in arcade, along with the other two bosses. Well, this is like one of the two sub-bosses. You have Goro, and another one kinda like him, and then you have the final boss, which is Shao Kahn, of course. You know the guy with the skull face helmet and the big-ass hammer you saw in the beginning of the first part? In the, uh, the future thingy? Yeah, that's the final boss. Come on, can I do this? If I can just get him down to... Oh, he was also gonna use his x-ray, although mine went first for some reason, but... At least we won a round. It was not impossible. And see that damage? My x-ray only did 21% to him, whereas it does like 33 or 35 to all other characters. So, someone who's good at math, like... Say if a regular character like uh, Scorpion has 100 health points. And Liu Kang's x-ray does 33% damage, so 33 points. And it does 21% damage to Goro, then how many health points does Goro have? Anyone uh, run that calculation for me? It would be much appreciated. It seems the Shaolin trained a warrior greater than the Shokan. Shang Tsung, only one fight remains. Face me in Mortal Kombat. So be it. And yeah, the Liu Kang chapter actually has five fights in it. Because this, well, the story of this game branches like the period of Mortal Kombat 1 through 3. And this, the Liu Kang chapter, is pretty much the ending of Mortal Kombat 1. So, they may had to make it like a little longer. Although, did they really have to like fit the Scorpion Quan Chi fight in there? Was that really necessary? I mean, the Ermac fight was like, okay, Ermac's introduction, that's like... Even though Ermac's not an important character at all, he's just a generic goon who fights hero without much motivation, he just likes... Ermac's just like a mindless slave to Shao Kahn, pretty much. And yeah, Shao... Or, uh, freaking Shang Tsung is beating my ass. You may have seen him, like, morph into different characters. That's his gimmick. He can, like, transform into all... Pretty much some of the other characters. And then they pretty much... He pretty much plays like those. So, yeah, I'm like... Why have like a mimicking character when you can just play as the freaking character themselves. 
And yes, I got that narrow victory, just what I needed. Okay, the decisive round. Can I do this? Hope I can't. Oh crap, his x-ray. What's he do? He freaking drains my skin? And knees me in the chin. That's gotta hurt. And we can, yeah, we've seen Liu Kang's x-ray before. That one, Liu Kang's x-ray might actually, like, be survivable if you, like, uh, like, if a regular human would do it. Like, if a, a regular human uppercutted you under the chin, you wouldn't fly ten feet straight into the air. And yay, we won! Say it! I concede. Yeah! yeah! Well done, my friend. He has saved Earthrealm. You failed me! 500 years I have waited. Now I must wait 500 more. My lord, all is not lost. Uh, curse the Elder Gods in their tournament. My I should lord. have taken Earthrealm by force. But I am bound by their rules. Rules that cannot be broken. My lord! Kill him. But what if the rules were changed? Katana. Continue. 